It is a bittersweet time for the Marauder program. As you guys know, you know, I drive a hyper car. This is a this is a very one of one Koenigsegg. They specially made it for me strictly because my bodily dimensions are not of the average human. Uh, the doctors say I'm not even of this world. I might be from a different, a whole entire different galaxy and I came here on an asteroid. That's just what the doctors have been telling me lately because I just won't stop growing and my physical prowess is so unbelievably dominant. But that's not the point of this video. Like I said, we're at a bitter, bitter, bitter sweet time on this YouTube channel. I have this Gazoo Racing 86, it goes zero to 60 in 0.3 seconds. It's a very fast car. I'm one of the only people on the planet, if not the only person on the planet that can control this beast. With that being said, the GR86 has been sold. And I'm not gonna tell you guys through who I sold it to, who I sold it to, how much I sold it for, uh, the profit I'm making off the whip. I'm not telling you any of the specifics like that, but we're just gonna do, this video is gonna be a little bit of a swan song to the GR86. Uh, and get your tip, before we get into this video for real, get your tissues out, you know, cause you're gonna end up weeping by the time this video ends. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about. I'm just gonna kind of send this car off. It's It's been fun. I got this car in September of 2022 when I was a 19 year old boy. I had no plans for my future. I had no thoughts of what I was gonna do in the future. I had no uh, perception of money. And you know, as you, most of you guys know, I, I, money's not really an issue for me. I'm a, one of the world's first quadrillionaires, which is basically a number that you can't even fathom. There's so much numbers after the one. Basically, my net worth is a one followed by 27 zeros. So I don't even know the name of that, but it's gotten out of hand with how much money I made. I'm gonna sit on these old rusty rails right here and we're gonna get some shots of the car i hope this can hold me i'm pretty fucking heavy but yeah i'm getting rid of the car i it's not that i can't afford it because like i said pockets ain't empty cuz but uh, i want to move on to new pastures this car when i was this was two years ago when i bought this car and my whole it, and you know before i get into it i parked here specifically so i could watch the train go by and just you know say fuck the mbta Fuck trains in general. I can't stand these motherfuckers with the fucking trains. So I, I parked here on purpose because I wanted the train to go by so I could let all my frustrations on the train. But like my life goals have changed. The things I want have changed. This car just doesn't suit me anymore. It's not for me. Now I had fun with it for the first two years. I made a lot of videos on it. Some of you guys may know uh, Ford actually teamed up with me and they made a one of one special edition Kia uh, Raptor in Torino red so they uh, they took my Kia Sportage and they made it a Raptor it's a one of one it was a Kia and Ford marketing meetup specifically for Matt Marauder it's called the Marauder special so I'm gonna be whipping the Torino red 2017 Kia Sportage for a couple months and I'm gonna stack my breach because I just moved to a new spot so moving to a new place and having to pay for this car was a little bit of a hassle but you guys know I got cash falling out of my ass so it's not really a problem but I want something else. Uh, uh, basically what my life is gonna consist of for the next few months is just gallivanting through used car lots, just lurking in the depths of used car lots to find whatever the fuck automobile I want. Preferably a manual wagon is really what I would like to, to go for or some sort of SUV situation. And the POV drives aren't really gonna stop. I'm still gonna periodically post those. It's just not gonna be in the hypercar like I've been saying. So. For those of you that just wanted to see content on this car, come Monday, this motherfucker's out of my hands. So get, 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 unsubscribe and never watch this channel again because there's gonna be no more of this car. Um, you know, it's, it's just, everyone's out, and everyone's asking me, because this was my first car. Everyone keeps asking me, are you sad that you're getting rid of it? Fuck no, I'm not sad. It's not like the car's dying. It's not like I was that attached to this automobile. I mean, it's caused me, it, it's caused me nothing but fucking trouble, if I'm being honest. I mean, the motherfucking engine blew on it, you know. Uh, it's a, it's hard to either just daily it because it's a fucking hyper car. That's another big thing. I don't want to like take it into the city or anything because I, I'm afraid someone's gonna run into me or some shit like that. And you know, 
it, I'm just not attached to it. I, everyone keeps asking me, uh, are, you, are you sad that you're giving it up? And I'm like, no. And maybe it just hasn't hit me yet. And in a few months, I'll be like, damn, I missed the 8.6. But I just don't see that happening. I think I've had my fun with the automobile. And that's all I really got to say about that. I mean, what, what more do you guys fucking want from me? All right. There's still going to be videos posted on this channel, but it's probably not going to be content that most of you want to see. So I recommend you get the fuck out of here and let me go about my business. And, you know, my my thought process about this is uh, most people did subscribe for this car. So this channel is probably going to self-destruct and just go deep into the depths of hell. It doesn't really fucking matter, does it? We'll get a few more shots. We'll get a nice little mouth shot of this. This is a trademark Matt Marauder shot of just the mouth of the automobile. Nice wide, it looks like a fish. It looks like a large mouth bass, which is what I love about it. Um, a few minor dings and dents that I've put on this car since I got it, for example. All four rims absolutely flexed out of their fucking gourd. Got a little golf ball sized dent in the side of the car right there. I don't know if you could see it. I went to an arcade, came back out, and the dent was there. So I have no idea what caused it. I don't think it's a shopping cart because it left no scrapes on the paint. Unless Toyota's covering this shit in fucking NASA grade paint. But yeah, like I said, four rims are curved, but that's really all the, the damage we have on the outside. Came with the GR Performance exhaust, which was, which was pretty cool, and that, that actually upped the selling price of the car because that's like a $1,200 part, and it's a factory exhaust upgrade, which is which people like it, and I haven't seen it on... I've only seen it on one other GR86 in the wild, in the fucking Serengeti. Uh, what else do we got? Just one little scrape right here when I, uh, you know, I, I might have might hit a curb a little bit. There's some fuckos that love to hit my rear view mirror. Go fuck yourself, buddy. I parked here so I could curse out these motherfuckers. I hope this train gets, you know what? I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. I hope, I hope everything is prosperous for this train and the people on board. I don't wanna see anyone get hurt, but I fucking hate trains. Ah, oh, man, I fucking hate trains. Um, just got the bitch inspected. Uh, full tank of gas, driving it down to the seller on Monday. He's gonna give me a check for $500 trillion. And that's about it. I mean, this isn't really that big of a loss for me because I got a, I got three Paganis chained in my basement, ready to be let out. I haven't used them in a while. I, I got them specially delivered for free from Johnny Pagani. I have a Ford GT, like a brand new Ford GT. I have a few Lamborghinis in my garage. So um, th this isn't really that big of a loss for me. So I'm not really that sad about giving it up. But here's another train. I'm not even going to fucking pay any mind to it. So the protocol, the protocol. All right, I got to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get into this, this cockpit right here. And I know you guys think I just stepped into an F-22 fucking Raptor, but no, it's just a hypercar. But uh, what is the protocol from here on out until Monday? Basically get all the bullshit out of the car. I've been living in this motherfucker for the past two years. And the commuter rail. So if you guys are, if you guys like trains or if you guys are like autistic and like trains, then you guys are getting your fill for this video. But yeah, protocol is clearing out the car. I got like 30% of my belongings are just sitting in this automobile. So I got to get that out. I got to vacuum the floorboards because it's all fucking dirty with my WeatherTech mats. I just got so much bullshit. It's just dirty. So I got to vacuum the motherfucker out. Uh, get, I have probably $30,000 stashed in the fucking, in your random spots in this car for when I buy coffee in the morning. So get that out of there, clear the trunk out and wash everything down, drive it down to the cellar, get my $50 million skedaddle, and then we'll see what the future holds for me and holds for this channel. Like I said, I'm still going to be posting, but if you guys came for mainly car content, GR86 focus videos, I'd recommend for your own sake. Uh, skedaddling because this is like a uh, uh, what's the word for it this is a uh, uh, this is just an experimental channel with the shit that I post so if you guys don't like that shit get the fuck out of here you know what I'm saying get the fuck out of here if you don't like what I'm fucking posting kid because the GR86 is going bye bye <coughs> I can't do that fucking voice anymore but that was me doing an impression of the bartender that I work with at work but yeah, I'm signing the video off here. I think we're at 10 minutes right now. There's not much more that needs to be said. There's going to be one other finale POV drive that gets posted. And if that video does get posted, if anyone's seeing this and then that video does get posted, that means that the cell went swimmingly and the car is officially off my hands because I'm not going to post that POV drive until the car is officially off my hands. So that will be the deciding factor. And then, like I said, after that, this channel is just going to be fucking 
slung into the ether into it, it's just gonna dissolve probably this channel it's it's after after i get rid of this car it's kind of over but we, i think we had a good run us marauders i think we did pretty good for the run that we had we had some fun and yeah i'll catch you guys on another fucking video and take it easy man